Okay, season one, episode nine, gives us this formula and says find the rate of change when x is equal to three. Rate of change means we need to find dy dx, so let's go about it. Oh, this looks awful. What are we going to do? Well, first off, we've got to ask that big question. Is something with x multiplied by something with x? Yes, it is. Therefore, we're going to start doing a product rule split. So product rule split. Break up the two sides into u and v. Okay. Uh, but look. Both of them are still fairly complex, so we're going to have to go further. So, it's not something with x multiplied by something with x, but it's not a simple case. It's a composite function. We're going to need to do a chain rule split within both of them. So, chain rule split. Here we go, we're going to need to use a letter other than U this time. So, we'll make it A. A can be what's in the brackets. 3x take 1. We'll do the same over here. Where A is what's in the brackets. You see over that side? Yep, yeah, that's all good. Alright, so I'm going to take the derivative of each separate bit. 6A5 dA dx is 3, dV dA is 9A to the power of 8, and dA dx is simply 1. x to the power of 1, 1 comes out the front, that's all you're left with. Alright, so that's the actual chain rule workings, but then we need to combine. So on both sides now I need to do a chain rule combine. The rule is slightly different in each case because of the different letters that I've used. So in this case, it's du dx. It's our original du dx from this part of the expression. du dx is going to be du dA times dA dx. So du dA dA dx. Similar on this side, we want our original dV dx. So it's going to be dV dx is dV dA by dA dx. Put it all together. So on this side it's going to be 6A5 times 3. That's going to give me 18A to the power of 5. So that there's the A. I put it together in one go there to make it a little less hideous looking on the board. Do the same here. 9A to the power of 8 times 1. That's simply going to be 9 Put our a back in to the power of 8. Right, so we've done all our chain rule stuff. We've got u, we've got it all the way down here to be du dx. And our original v here, we've got it all the way down here to be dv dx. We can now combine the whole lot. We can go back to our original product rule split, bring it all back together. So product rule combine. Right, so our original dy dx, remember our product rule, u times dv dx plus v times du dx. Right, if we've done it properly, we end up with a nice crisscross pattern on the screen. So there's u dv dx and v du dx. They're the ones that have to be combined. So here we go, that times that, it's going to be messy isn't it, 9, 3x take 1 to the power of 6, x plus 4 to the power of 8, plus these two multiplied by each other, which will give us 18, 3x take 1 to the power of 5, x plus 4 to the power of 9. Isn't that lovely? Now, we have to remember our original question wanted to know the rate of change when x is 3. So to find that out, we need to substitute x in here. 
So, rate of change when x is 3. I'm going to get it on the floor. Here we go. 9, 3 times 3, take 1 to the power of 6. 3 plus 4 to the power of 8, plus 18. 3 times 3, take 1 to the power of 5. 3 plus 4 to the power of 9. Well, it's going to be messy, isn't it? Um, so that's 9, and 3 times 3 is 9. Take 1, we're going to have 8 to the power of 6. I'll write it out with some multiplication. So that'll be 8 to the power of 6 times... 3 plus 4, 7 to the power of 8, plus 18 times, 3 times 3 is 9, take 1, that'll be 8 to the power of 5, times 3 plus 4 is 7, so 7 to the power of 9. Now, just saying, I think that's going to be a really big number, so let's put that in our calculator, 8 to the power of 6 times 7 to the power of 8, plus 18 times 8 to the power of 5, times 7 to the power of 9, and it gives me 3.74 times 10 to the 13. Okay to leave it in, in um, index notation. I mean, essentially that means you'd need to move the decimal place 13 places that way. It's given us a huge, huge number. Alas, that's the rate of change of y when x is equal to 3. You could also check that in your graphics calculator. I checked it on here. Gives you that hideous number.